Hi everybody! So I'm going through finals week right now. It's really sucky. I'm sure some of you are going through it too. The tests and the studying. It's absolutely horrid. Um, but we're all going to make it through because we have Christmas and other assorted winter holidays to look forward to. So I just wanted to come at you guys today with a holiday video since I am looking just so forward to Christmas and being home with my family when all this testing is over. So as you guys can see, this is an afternoon tea video. So this is my afternoon tea. It's green tea with honey and lemon and it's in a mustache cup. And so when I drink it, it looks like I have a mustache. I think I'm so clever sometimes and I'm really not. So this is going to be the holiday memories or Christmas memories tag. And so basically if you're watching this video right now, you are tagged. You can do it on Facebook, you can do it on YouTube, any of your social media, and I would love it so much if you would leave me a link to your answers to the questions in this tag. And um, join me as I cover my lovely white mug in neon pink lipstick. So the tag has like 10 questions. Um, I meant to actually film this when I was home for Thanksgiving with my sister. Unfortunately, my mother took us shopping so much that we did not have time. So I'm going to do it as a video and then my sister's responses to these questions are going to be in a post over on the blog. So I will link that up in the description. Make sure to give it a click and go read what my sister thinks about Christmas's past. So the first question in the tag is, what is the worst gift I have ever received? Um, I don't want to be that person really, but it was a um little pendant and matching ring that was much too big and they were set in really 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 tiny um, white and black diamonds and it was a gift from my dad so sorry dad love you but I just never wore it and I honestly just ended up selling it and it's just because it just wasn't really my style but I definitely appreciated the thought and effort. Two, what is something you always wanted but you never got? A unicorn. I dream big, guys. I dream real big. Three, what is your favorite Christmas song? It's a tie between Panic at the Disco's sort of a cappella rendition of White Christmas and Shake Up Christmas by Train. And I do fully realize that they were paid by the Coca-Cola Corporation to write that song, but I don't care. It's still lovely and it's still happy and just makes me smile. Four is tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. It's an afternoon tea video, so probably tea? No, but in all seriousness, like coffee to me is like morning, and then afternoon is like tea, and then nighttime is like tea or hot chocolate when we get into winter. So really, I have all three within the span of any given day, but to be honest, I prefer tea. There's a mustache. Oh. And there's a mustache on the bottom, but I don't want to, like, spill tea all over myself and die, so. Mm. So that way when it's, when you're, like, full force, like, drinking the last of your tea, like, the weird dust dregs at the bottom, you can see a mustache still. It's pretty clever. Um, even though this is a left-handed mug and I am technically a right-handed person. Five is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? And the answer to that is The Year Without a Santa Claus. Yes, oh my god. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Tender. Friends call me Snow. I'm too much. So that kind of became my favorite Christmas movie because of that song. And my sister and I would always take on one of the characters in our favorite duets, us both being theater children when we were younger. And so I would always be Heat Miser and she would always be Freeze Miser. And it was just so wonderful. And it was so fun because it was, because it was just one of the funnest things I ever did with my sister was just like sing and and mess around. So that's why this movie very, very quickly became my favorite. So number six is what is the best gift that you ever gave? The best gift I ever gave was um, a pair of crochet 
mittens. Um, my mom and sister, I each made them a pair, I think, a year before last. And so they were like 100% super wash wool and tapestry crochet. Like the pattern was just absolutely beautiful. I wish I had a picture to show you guys, but I don't. Either way, they were just, they were gorgeous. This was the same year that Frozen had come out. And so I gave these to my sister and she was just absolutely, my sister and mom are just absolutely thrilled. My sister said, I feel like I'm in Frozen when I wear these. And so it just made me really happy to know that I made something that would not only keep them warm, but something that they definitely loved and would get many, many years of use out of. And it just made it all that more special to me that I was able to make something for them with my own two hands. Seven, what is your weirdest Christmas memory? This one is almost too weird to be put out into the open, but we're going to put it out in the open anyway. It was the Christmas that my now ex-boyfriend's parents came to my grandmother's house when the whole family was getting together. And, you know, we got kind of sick of buying each other gifts um, because it's just a huge family. So what we end up doing is Dirty Santa, what some people call like White Elephant or what have you. It was kind of funny, first of all, because my cousin Chase, who was not yet 21 at the time, it's an issue for later, but he had brought for Dirty Santa just this huge bottle of Grey Goose vodka. And, you know, it was kind of fought over somewhat by the older people in my family. And what's even more awkward about that is one of the people who was interested in having it was my aunt, who came to that Christmas particularly um, plastered. And it was really funny because she was trying to do the Christmas crossword in the newspaper and also singing Christmas carols at the same time. It was just, it was weird, but it was so funny. Eight, what is your favorite part of Christmas day? Easily the morning. So me and my sister are no longer like six years old anymore, so we don't tear into the presents right away in the morning. And so why the morning is my favorite is because ever since my mother and now my stepdad um, we're dating and got married and have been together pretty much. We have made huge, just insane breakfasts on Christmas morning. Like we're talking obscene amounts of food. Like it's like Thanksgiving, but it's Christmas breakfast. That's always like my favorite part because not only do I like to eat, but I think it's a really, really special thing when you sit down with your family and you are able to just share a meal with them and enjoy being around them. And I guess that's why that's my favorite part is just because sitting around a table with everyone is just, it's a feeling I can't describe. It's just so comforting and it just makes you so happy. Nine, who are the hardest people to get gifts for? Easily my parents, very easily my parents. I know there are a lot of things like, you know, that my mom wants. The thing about that is, is she could talk like right now about something that she needs or wants. But then if I come up to her house and give her that for Christmas, by the time I'm there to give her that, she's already gone and got it for herself. And so buying stuff for my mom ends up being kind of hard. So I end up with a lot of handmade stuff instead, which is, you know, the mittens and this year I'm making her jewelry. It just gets kind of difficult, but luckily with my mom, um, just about anything handmade that I could make her, she just, she's nuts over it. 10 is, what is the best gift that you ever received? This is another little place where I feel guilty for kind of like pointing things out or playing favorites. A dress from, I don't know how many years ago, when Urban Outfitters had the 12 Dresses of Christmas collection. So my stepfather got me the drummer's dress, which for those of you who aren't familiar with 12 Days of Christmas as a song, or maybe have forgotten part of it, that is the 12th day, and, you know, 12 drummers drumming. To this day, I still have it, even though it doesn't quite fit me as well anymore, which is upsetting. So it's, you know, it's gray, and it's lovely, and sequiny, and it's a tank, and it's just, it's a very, very, very beautiful dress, and I'm very sad that I'm too big for it now. So that's the end of the holiday memories tag. I'm not at the end of my tea, but I plan to finish it. And I'll have all ten of the questions from the tag in the blog post, um, along with my sister's responses to the tag, as I said earlier. So please click over to the blog. Until next time, cheers, and I'll see you guys later.